Tonight, a jury again saying that an officer on trial for assaulting an unarmed and incoherent black man is not guilty. Yeah, we were telling you about Officer Tyler Timberlake seen on video using a taser on that man twice. Our Bruce Lashan is live outside of the Fairfax County Courthouse with more on this verdict. Hey, Bruce. Hey, uh, you know, Officer Tyler Timberlake relieved, overjoyed by this verdict. We have not had a chance yet to talk to Lamonta Gladney or his family, but there were dozens and dozens of Fairfax County police officers upstairs here in the courtroom, packed into the courtroom throughout the trial. And when Tyler Timberlake came out after these not guilty verdicts, they all applauded and cheered. I think one of the first things we need to do is kind of step back when these actions happen and investigate them properly before we immediately go um, on social media and make announcements about how terrible an action is without looking at all the facts, which is exactly what the Commonwealth attorney did in this case. Went right to the media that night saying what a terrible act, what a criminal act. He didn't even know any of the facts going into this. All he had was a video. I'm disappointed in the verdict that we received today. But I have to say, I'm not disappointed for myself. I'm disappointed for my black and brown neighbors in this community. I know I don't have to worry about leaving the house as a bald white man every day and worry that I'm going to get confused for somebody else and get treated poorly. Now, there's Officer Timberlake after the verdict. That's video of him uh, walking out of the courthouse. Uh, he still faces potential police department discipline, but his lawyer thinks that that is unlikely now. He has been on restricted duty uh, since this incident on June 5th, 2020. Uh, so that's the situation here at the Fairfax County Courthouse. Live here, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. Back to you.